if it doesn't come to you, don't question it. Mm -hmm. Even if it's hard, and even if it is hurtful in the moment, you have to trust that anything that is not meant for you will mm -hmm. pass you by. I think that the things that are meant for you will always come to you. Mm -hmm. uh, the way we get there might change. Um, but if they're meant to be for you, they'll, they'll come. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Um, Thank I was at the you. premiere last night mm. and I was blown away. I have honestly never seen a reaction to a movie like it before. So Thank you, Thank so you very much. I'm just so happy for you both. Thank you. Um, I'm going to start off with a nice and fun question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of my favourite moments from this press tour was seeing the moment that you guys found out you've been cast as Glinda and Alphabet. Mm. So I'd love to know, how did you guys celebrate getting the news that you'd landed <laughs> your dream roles? I think it's been an everyday sort of like pinch me moment. You know? Yeah. We, it doesn't, every, we keep coming up with like all oh, moments where we're just like, oh my God, we're doing this. Oh, mm -hmm. this has happened, you know? Staying present. Yeah. We didn't have, if the, we didn't have like a big, I don't we remember. Don't do things like it was that. so crazy because that night feels like a blur. It was yeah. one a.m. for me. We went to bed. And, you know, we went to bed. We went to bed. <laughs> yeah. We went to bed and got ready we had to, to do sleep. the work. Sleep. It was a lot. It was like, okay, so <laughs> let's get ready. We're, we have yeah. work to do. Let's get started. Yeah. I actually think I did go. You definitely went to work the next day. One hundred. Doing something. One hundred. And I know I went to work. I think I was on a set that the next day. So mm -hmm. we were we're working. Yeah, <laughs> we're working. Very busy work. Yeah. yeah, but I that for us is the celebration, you know, yeah. getting ready to and, do the work, and yeah, to to, to be ready. For I it, love yeah. that, Ariana. You've spoken about how obsessed you were with Wicked as a child. True. Um, and how much the show meant to you when you were younger. And I'm a big believer in taking the time to look back to recognize and appreciate where you currently are and where your journey began. Mm -hmm. uh, so I hope you don't mind me asking this question. But if you both could tell your younger self one thing. What would it be? Because oh. you've both done it. You've made your dreams come true. Oh. I'd say thank you. Yeah. I'd say thank you. Because you're in there. Yeah. Taking away. and hollering. And I'm yeah. listening and I hear you and I got you and thank yeah. you. And, and we, we got, we're there. Yeah. You know, we got it. Yeah, I think I would say uh, go have some more fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go play more. She's having fun now. She's having fun now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's worked really hard, little Cynthia, you know? <laughs> She's like, put me together a lot of times, and now I think she gets to have a little fun. Why is it you're always causing some sort of commotion? I don't cause commotions, I am one. Some of us are just different. Ariana, for me, one of the biggest themes in the story of Wicked is the importance of a good mentor. Mm. Um, so I was wondering, who has been the biggest mentor to you throughout your career? Mm. Mm. Well, I want you to go first. This is a great question for two for the both of us. Mm. All right. But I'm, I'm, let me think. Hmm. Uh, maybe my mom. Mm -hmm. I'll say my mom, because there was never a time in my life when she made me feel like I couldn't do something. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to, if I was four years old and I said, "Mommy, I want to be on Nickelodeon. Or mm. I want to be on Broadway. Or I want to be a singer." She's like, "Great, let's do it." You know, yeah. she was. She always always supported me and um, was always honest and is a brilliant businesswoman and she taught me so much and and my mom, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, please? I, I feel like I've got a couple. My, my mom is definitely one of them. She was, when I, she loves when I sing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I remember I had like a weird stint when I, when I wasn't doing it for a little bit. I, I, I think I lost my nerve a little bit and she was, she just, she's very good at going, it's like subtle, Taps. <laughs> so just as she was walking to the kitchen one day, she just said, I hope you're still singing. I hope you're still singing. Mm -hmm. Didn't say anything other than that. And then just carried on with it. And it was the one thing that was like, oh, I shouldn't not do that. That's mm -hmm. something that she's paying attention to and, and clearly cares about as much as I do. Um, and then a woman called Ray McKen, who forced me to go to drama school. She uh, told me that I wanted to do this ridiculous, like sweet little young access company thing. And that's all, I was willing to just do that. And she said, you can't come to this class until you, uh, you apply for a drama school, because I think you should go. <laughs> and I think you'd be great. And 
it was only because she wouldn't let me do this little very thing. Very thankful to this, <laughs> yeah. to this woman. She said that we did it, yeah. <laughs> so so incredible advice. We've been lucky. Yeah. We've, been, we've had some good people in our lives. Yeah, yeah, we have. Absolutely. And finally, uh, Cynthia, the role of fate and destiny play a huge part in the makeup of the world of Oz. Um, so I'd love to know, are fate and destiny something that you believe in? I think so. I do believe in it. I think that the things that are meant for you will always come to you. Mm -hmm. uh, the way we get there might change. Um, but if they're meant to be for you, they'll, they'll come, yeah. I agree. I also think if it doesn't come to you, don't question it. Mm -hmm. Even if it's hard and even if it is hurtful in the moment, you have to trust that anything that is not meant for you will mm -hmm. pass you by. Mm -hmm. And then, and it's because something else is. That's right. And yeah. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. It's all about your own journey and just whatever happens, happens. happens. Yeah. So yeah, that's amazing. Guys, thank you so much for your time today. Um, thank you. Thank you. Without getting too deep, the world of the moment feels like a bit of a weird and scary place. And mm -hmm. I think your your friendship together, Wicked in general, has kind of encouraged people to not be ashamed of who they are and just embrace the things which make them special. So thank you so much for your time thank today. Thank you and, for saying that. Uh, I'm just thrilled to get to talk to you both, to be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah, this <laughs> is lovely. Thank this you so really much. Lovely. Thank you for your nice question. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. I honestly was blown away. Just follow the road. It's gonna lead you right to me. Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Stone Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.